Eggsy. I saw in you what someone once saw in me. Something that can't be taught. The makings of a Kingsman. Being a Kingsman is more than the clothing we wear or the weapons we bear. It's about being willing to sacrifice for the greater good. I hope you're ready for what comes next. Well, here I am the weekend after the Emmys reviewing new movies, uh, losing a little bit of my voice, but that's not going to stop me. Uh, in 2015, there was a terrific movie that turned spy movies on its head called Kingsman, The Secret Service. Well, that movie made over $400 million worldwide, and that obviously would call for a sequel, which director Matthew Vaughn has certainly delivered in Kingsman, The Golden Circle. This one finds our hero Eggsy back in action. But Harry Hart, uh, played by Colin Firth in the original, was presumed uh, dead at the end of that movie. But is he? I'll get to that in a second. Here, this movie opens with an attack on the Kingsmen and virtually the entire British spy organization, which is also has a front as a tailor shop, destroyed in the process. All that we have left, it seems like, is Eggsy, played by Taron Edgerton. He was the street kid turned into a swab, a member of that organization. And the tech guru, Merlin, played by Mark Strong. Well, uh, they suddenly find themselves in Kentucky. That's their backup here when something like this happens and they are merged in a sense in a battle against a new villain with a an american group called the statesman welcome to statesman as your american cousins we'll be working side by side let's get started now the statesman were formed on the same day as it turns out as the Kingsmen, and they have a similar mission run by a Jeff Bridges, who plays Champagne, though he likes to call himself Champ, and then uh, Channing Tatum, who plays Tequila. Halle Berry is kind of the tech guru of this group. She plays Ginger Ale. And then there's Pedro Pascal, who uh, plays Whiskey. He's kind of the Burt Reynolds-like uh, cowboy hero. In fact, they're all based on American cowboy myths. Vaughn and his co-screenwriter, Jane Goldman, have a lot of fun with American stereotypes here in Americana with this group. Anyway, they team with the Kingsmen to go after a new, lethal new villain. She is Poppy Adams, played to the hilt by Julianne Moore. She is having so much fun with this role. She's in Southeast Asia running a drug cartel but she's turned it into what is called poppy land. She misses her American home, even though she can't go there. So she turns this into something like right out of American graffiti with all of these pop culture references there. The art direction, production design here is just superb. She is no one to mess around with. As you can see, her meat grinding machine is used to good end to get rid of people she doesn't like. And she is determined to forge her way and reshape the world in her view. She just has some very bad methods of going about it. We've got brains, skills, skipping rope. Lasso. This leads to some really colorful action sequences all throughout this movie. There's all sorts of chases, things going on. And uh, let me get back to Harry Hart, Colin first character. Well, spoiler alert, he wasn't really dead in the first one, even though we think he was. And he, of course, turns up in this movie. I won't tell you how they bring him back. That's part of the fun. But what would a Kingsman movie be without Colin Firth? and without Taron Edgerton, who is just terrific as Eggsy, as is this whole cast here. The movie has just gotten bigger and better, more colorful. I'm predicting this movie will make even more money than the first Kingsman because it is not predictable in the ways it does things. It's very, very contemporary, but with a foot firmly planted in the past, great cinematic past of spy movies. Matthew Vaughn has done a terrific job. This movie looks great. It's a bit over long at 140 minutes, but I don't think you'll want to get out of your seat for a minute. I say for Kingsman's fans, and there's a lot of you out there, I say go.